Hi everybody, uh, this is your second tutorial on GeoGebra. Today I'm going to go over making a line, uh, a line that is parallel to the first line you made, uh, a perpendicular line, uh, tangents to a curve like, uh, like a circle, and also to reflect objects um, either through by a point or through a line, which is really useful later on. Uh, so just to begin, again we have our workspace and everything we see here. And the first thing that we need to do is create a line uh, that we can base everything off of. So let's do that really quick. We're going to make two points, A and B, and then I'm going to select my line making tool, which is second, uh, the second tool on the toolbar, and click A and B. And uh, I'm going to press escape and drag A and B around. So again, I have this line that I just made really quickly using the methods we learned last time. Uh, and I'm going to actually rename this. I'm going to rename this um, line alpha. Oops. Uh, another thing about GeoGebra is that it doesn't like when you put in um, minus signs, plus signs into names because it uh, it actually thinks that it's an operation. Uh, so it's really weird naming things in GeoGebra, and I'll get into that later on uh, when you want to make more advanced constructions. But okay, so now we have our line alpha uh, that goes through point A and B, and their line alpha is defined by A and B. So let's say we want to make a line, a new line, that is parallel to line alpha. Well, we have a tool for that. So the tool for that is this third tool over here, and you're going to have to go over that little red um, triangle that points down. You want to click, left click, and select parallel line. You can see that for this, it says select point and parallel line. Well, in this case, some tools, you can either select an existing point, or just by clicking, it'll create a new point for you, and then you can select whichever line is referenced uh, to make this new parallel line. So that's, that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to click anywhere. It's going to create a new point C and I'm going to select the line that this new line needs to be parallel to and I wanted to make it parallel to line alpha. So I'm just going to click on line alpha. So I have now this new line which is little a. I'm going to rename that to line beta. Okay. Uh, so this new line, line beta, is parallel to line alpha. And what happens if I move around uh, A or B? Well, it stays parallel because now line beta is defined as being parallel to line alpha. Now, if I move around C, it doesn't really matter where I move C around, it's always going to be parallel to line alpha. So that's really cool. Now, uh, in order to make a perpendicular line, again, we need a point and a reference line. So going back to this third tool here, I want you to click on the triangle again, and you're going to select a perpendicular line. Now it says select a point and select a perpendicular line. Again, you can click anywhere on the white space uh, just to create this line and it'll create a new point in D. But in this case, I'm going to just select D as my point and my perpendicular line reference is going to be uh, line alpha itself. So here, again, I just created a new line, little a, and let's rename that. Line gamma. So we know that line gamma is now perpendicular to line alpha, and from induction, uh, we also know that's going to be perpendicular to line beta. So I can move that around, and it's always going to remain perpendicular to both lines. And that's how we make uh, parallel lines and perpendicular lines in GeoGebra. Really powerful, really useful later on. Um, now. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete things uh, to clear my workspace so, because I want now to show you how to make uh, tangents to a curve. So a quick way to do that is just go over to your algebra view right over here. And what you want to do is since all these objects are based upon these three free objects, if you start deleting them, then the dependent objects will disappear. So just by deleting this, I can easily clear my workspace very quickly and start with a blank page. So with a blank page, uh, I want a curve. Easy curve is a circle. Going over here to your one, two, three, four, five, fifth tool on the toolbar, uh, 
click on circle with center through point. And so uh, I'm going to select the center to be here. And as you can see, uh, I can create a circle of whatever size I need. And I click once more to define a point that is on the, the circumference of the circle. So again, uh, pressing escape or selecting my first tool, uh, you see that I can change the circle any way I want. Um, so let's see if we can make um, a tangent line uh, to the surface of the circle. Well, go back to this tool over here, click down on the little triangle, and go to tangent. And click on tangent. It says select point or line, then select circle, conic, or function. Most of the time you're going to be selecting just the point. So let's select point B. And I want it to be tangent to the surface of the circle. So right now I just made a new tangent line, little a, that is tangent to the surface of C, no matter where it is. And I can drag around B around, B around on the surface. That's how you make tangents. Great. Now, um, as another uh, part, I want you to show. I want to show you how to reflect objects across a line. Uh, this is really useful when you're doing the law of reflection and you're making mirror sins. So uh, again, I'm going to clear my workspace very quickly, and I'm going to create um, a mirror. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a mirror with two points. And I'm going to make this really quickly because I can select two points quickly on the axis and have my line defined. So now I have this new line A, which I can rename mirror. And that's my mirror. So let's hide my axes since I don't need them anymore. So this is my mirror. And I can drag around this point up and down. And let's say that's where uh, the light strikes my mirror. In this case, what I want to do is I need to have um, a normal line. So let's make a normal line. Well, what is a normal line compared to a mirror? A normal line is always perpendicular to the surface of the mirror. Wonderful, we have a great tool for that. We're going to make a perpendicular line through point B to the surface of the mirror. You have your normal line immediately. And so let's make another point, a free point A, or uh, C in this case, uh, that's going to be the point that we're going to reflect across this normal. Now, what do we use in order to ref reflect this point C across this uh, boundary of the, this normal line? Well, you go over here, reflect object about line. So you want to click on this, what object are we going to reflect? We're going to reflect object C, and then we're going to reflect it across this line. So now, this new this new object is dependent on C. It still stays um, bright blue, but that's just a little bug in the program. But if I move C around, you see that, hey, it changes. So creating maybe a segment between C and B, and maybe a ray from B to C, you can quickly see by dragging around this point that it obeys a law of reflection, no matter where I am. So that's a really quick way to do a quick send. And hey, you can even hide this, hide the normal, since it doesn't really exist. And it still obeys the law of reflection. Uh, that's it. Thanks for listening, and look forward to more tutorials on GeoGebra.